All right, so today we're going to clone ourselves. All right, guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. And today I'm going to show you how to clone yourself in DaVinci Resolve. And we're actually going to make something that looks uh, just about like this. All right, so today we're going to clone ourselves. All right, so you can see that we have multiples of me, which is not always a pretty sight, but that's what we have. And this was done for actually another shoot, another tutorial that I did on cloning yourself in Photoshop. And you can look at that uh, by following the link below. Now for that one, what I did was I set up a video camera and the video camera is locked on a tripod so it doesn't move and then I would move to different positions in the background for the uh, photos and we'd take separate photos for each position. Well, I also had video footage of me moving all over the place so I was able to clip that up and to make some clone shots of myself in the same area. So let me get rid of this right here first and uh, show you what we're doing here. And we, we have four clips here. We have this clip here and we have the one of me sitting down here. And we also have the one of me moving on the bench and then uh, the last one of me walking in the background. Now, what you'll notice, and let me just put these all the way over to the side here and make this easier for me. So when I place this up on top of the other one, you'll notice that when we play this back, uh, the issue is that as soon as it gets to that one, it, it shows the top one so that doesn't show through. So what we have to do is we have to make a mask so that only this part of me will show through and the other part on the bottom, or all the rest of the image, will show the bottom part of that. And all of this is done over in DaVinci Resolve. One of the way, what we do is we stack, or what I did, was stack all of these up like this. Okay, so everything that we're gonna uh, do here, once we get this set up like this, is gonna happen over in the color panel down here. But before we go over there, I'm gonna turn off um, these two so that you can see what happens on this once I make the adjustments. Back over here in the color panel, I'm gonna go with number two here and we see that we have a note. I'm gonna add another note by pressing um, Alt S and add another serial note to that. And on this note, I'm gonna make uh, just basically use a little power window here and this power window is going to allow me to make a mask where only I'm not going to allow this part to show through where I'm sitting. And this particular mask I can go ahead and probably get away with using a circle. And we'll bring the circle on over towards me and I'm going to reduce it down to my height here get in the center and then bring these sides in. Now you want it to be as close as it possibly can to the person uh, that you're working with because the closer closer it is the better because that way you're not overlapping into other things so we only want this part to show we can see over here that that's all that's showing in this particular um, image now when we go back to our timeline and we play it in our timeline you see that once it gets to that point it blocks out everything else and the reason that it's blocking it out we head back on over to the color panel is that we have to add an alpha output here. And once we add that to it, you see that this comes right back in. So our bottom layer here, this one here, is now uh, showing through on all parts except for right here where our power window is on this particular one. So again, I'm gonna come back on over here and I'm gonna turn this one on, the next one, and go back to the color panel. And click on this particular one and we can see that I'm getting up and I'm moving on this one. So as I scroll through this, you see that I'm moving on over here. Now, we want I want to be careful because I want to make a nice solid line right across here so this doesn't interfere with this camera. So what I'm gonna use for this one is I'm gonna add, first I'm gonna add a serial node to this so that we can work with it. And I'm gonna add another serial node. Now the reason I always put the mask on the second serial node is I leave the first one open for color correction or anything. I wanna do it like that. So I always put my mask on the second one. This particular one, I'm gonna use the pen tool this time because the pen tool is gonna to allow me, and I'll zoom in a little closer here so I can see this. The pen tool is gonna to allow me to come right down here and get between where I'm at. And the reason that this is so important on this particular one is that um, 
in a minute here you're gonna see that I'm, I'm gonna be walking back in here because I planned this out so I know that I have to make this mass tight to me so that's where I'm starting to sit down and as I come back you can see that my head actually comes a little above um, so I'm at another spot right there and all I did was just click on that to add another spot and raise that up and let's keep moving back now let's track to make sure that I stay within that and I am staying within that quite impressive all right so I'm gonna bring this one in a little bit closer this one a tiny bit closer and this one also so that should cover me throughout my entire movement here and let's see if it does and I'm gonna add a little bit of extra wiggle room up there I think just to make sure all right so again connect my alpha channel Oops, slipped on that one. Yep, oh, slipped again. There we go, alpha, alpha channel, down to this. And now we can see that all of my people here so far are in this picture and we see that I do not fade out of anything. If I would go past this line and that mask, uh, I would disappear. So I'm gonna head back on over and turn on our last layer, which is this one right here. And this is me walking in the background and come back over to the color panel and again i'm going to use uh, the pen tool and i'm going to add a serial node and then i'm going to add another serial node and work on the second one and that's that's pretty much where i'm going to end up at so i'll click there oops sorry first i have to select my serial or select my power window and come down there and I know that my path I think is along this way over to this rock and again I don't want to go too far over this way because I know I'm sitting here and I know that I have another one right here and so I don't want these to overlap so let's follow me back here and I think I can come a little bit closer with this one and follow me back and that one's okay and I'm still inside so it seems like I'm still inside on all of them. So as we play it through, I seem to stay inside that box. All right. So going back to this one, I'm going to... step one there, sorry. I'm going to add my alpha channel to this now. And that should allow all three of them to show through. Oops, except for uh, this bottom one here. There we are. So if we play through this, we can see that... Um, nothing seems to overlap and we'll just let the whole thing play through and see what happens and uh, and again it's rendering in the background so it's, it's sort of uh, going a little slow right now but that's okay so we come back to our timeline and I will just let this play and we'll see me popping in there and there are my three clones come up after I talk now to make this blend a little nicer, what I'm going to do is at the beginning right here, I'm going to grab this little control right there and this allows me to fade in. So I'm going to fade in about four frames on each one of them. And I say about because it's not always uh, easy to control that, although it seems to be right now, doesn't it? And there's my four. And even at the beginning I'll fade in four. So that way it's just not an abrupt thing where all of a sudden you know, they just appear. This way they'll, they'll fade in like ghosts. So if you watch has come across here. Oops, nothing. Well, let's, let's do it again. All right, so, and we'll go back to home and come across here. And you're gonna see that I'm gonna fade in and they will all fade in. Now, of course, it, the timeline is going much faster. You see that it's not all rendered out yet up here and that's gonna take a little bit of time for it to do so. Uh, I will put it on continuous so that that way it goes and each, each time it goes through it will add you know to render out a little bit more and so eventually we will have this all rendered out and you can see there they all are and they appear uh, gradual they sort of fade in there like ghosts coming in which is what I want so if you enjoyed this please uh, give it a like and also subscribe because I will be putting out more on DaVinci Resolve uh, I use this program for all of my editing uh, and special effects now so you will see a lot more of this from me 
So stay tuned to the channel and appreciate you being around. Look forward to catching up with you on the next video.